Hello everybody, how's it going? Well, I ordered my anti-vibration pads for the machine here, and I ordered, I wasn't sure if I got the right one because they're all like metric, and this was 10 millimeters, so I'm sitting there, 10 millimeters, all right, that's got to be about blah, 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 because I was looking for 3 eighths. Luckily, I got lucky because they fit right in. They got the self-grabber nuts. And, uh, yeah, so now, there it is. So that'll be sitting up on rubber to stop any vibration. And it's actually going to be easier to mount it because um, I could set the engine in place. And then I could just, you know, put a little dot where the tip is. But these holes need to be, this hole's like a little squarish. I just got to. It's got to nail them once with the, what do you call it, screwdriver, or a drill, yeah, screwdriver, with a drill. So there, that came in today. Um, I was looking all around for a genuine OEM belt for this, and they got one coming from Amazon. And I noticed I've ordered it from Amazon last time. Uh, the only difference is the price went up one dollar. So seventy-five dollars for that belt. So yeah. Next time I'm in, I'm in high grass, I'm gonna lift the blade up. But shouldn't have broke anyhow. So anyways, this takes care of the vibration of the motor. Might as put the keyway in there too. Keep it all the same. And I'm not going to need the jack shaft, so I won't be needing these pillar blocks. Which the last time I couldn't remember what the hell they're called. So I got a couple sets of them for later on. And, yeah, I said the hell with it, you know something? I'm like, I'm not going to tie money up just sitting around here. I sent the whole nine yards back. I sent the shaft back. I sent those two little pulleys back. I sent that three inch pulley back the four inch pulley back I ordered a five inch pulley for this so it's gonna go from five inch to three inch and uh, and then this will raise it up in the air a little bit for anti-vibration but yeah this is what I've got on my welding cart um, I got these because these flat parts are just glued onto this rubber so that's why I can weld I could weld to this table because it's isolated from the machine. So in no words is this touching the metal to back feed into another machine. So I just crank, clamp my ground down here. And you can see, you know, there's a rubber isolator here. This alignment pins goes through a plastic ring. So there's no way the top touches it. You know, when it opens, it opens on the rubber. The rubber actually bends as the top opens. So, little by little, I'll start collecting parts again. So the alternator's ready to go back in one box, and um, all the other pieces in another bag, which was a freaking nightmare because when I went to send them back, I selected each part I'm sending back to return. So. I clicked on the bar. This is anything else you want to add to this return. I'm like, oh, that's cool. So I went down the list. You know, I clicked this, click that, click the two little pulleys, click that. And I went and printed out the label, and I noticed there's only one little pulley in there. I was like, where the hell did the second pulley go? Well, the second pulley somehow came up that I have to take the pulley to a Staples, show them the QR code, have them scan it, and ship it. I'm like, I'm not running around for this crap. So I had to call Amazon up and then they had to cancel the QR code and then then the guy comes back and says that he uh he made up four new labels for everything. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? I said, I want everything to go back at once. I said, what are you doing? I said, go in and cancel everything you did, you know, but leave the alternator the way it is. Let's do my quick check around back here make sure no snakes got in which they didn't 
And um, so he did. And then I started my return out with those two pulleys. Then I went on to everything else. So everything's on the kitchen table, waiting to be picked up by FedEx. I already let my buddy know, let John know. And uh, he says, I'll see you Tuesday. I'm like, Tuesday? I'm like, oh, crap, Monday's a holiday. So, but I did order the five inch for this. And I think I ordered the five inch narrow pulley, which is an A. So I should be all set with this when I get the other parts. Of course, I'll do another test, bench test on the alternator to make sure it works before I start assembling stuff, which was probably a pretty good thing that I did in the beginning. You know, because I welded this all together and blah, 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 and it didn't fit, and then who knows what could happen. But, you know, I might have to cut it apart and make a new mount. I don't know. But anyhow, so these would be my vibration dampers of the engine. These seem pretty stiff. I don't know how much vibration they're going to damp, but, you know, whatever. At least they'll be on there. At least it'll raise it up, you know, so this isn't vibrating directly to the metal. So, so that's about it. And that's really too much going on today. Um, I really don't have nothing to do. You know, but I got no projects, no projects to play with. So it's kind of a, a boring day. You know, I noticed with these 12, 12 gauge blanks that I've had around the area around here, they go into the holder like this. See, I started out with one of these, then I went to one of these. Yeah, this sounds like an M80. This sounds like a cannon. But what I've noticed is when these hang outside in these right here, and they're hanging out there like that, water is dripping down and getting into the bottom of these. And it's making all of the gunpowder, oh, this thing's loaded too, into the gunpowder and uh, making a soggy and ruining them. So what I've been doing, I've been putting tape on the end of them. I've been taping them off. But the other size of this, the next size down, which is a three-quarter load, they crimp the plastic back up in. So it acts as like a, a drip curtain on it. To where this, the water comes around the edge and it starts soaking into the cardboard, and then the stuff comes out like mud. Oh, well. I guess we'll go get the mail my exciting thing to do today go get the mail he instantly wants to go over there and pee in his lawn where are you going junior what are you doing he just does his own thing he's like i'm the outside boss he doesn't go too far still haven't got anybody to buy my tow behind mower yet i don't know what the hell's going on but 1200 bucks. I'm not even going to make any money on it for 1200 but flag's still holding up good. Come on, Junior. There he is. Come on, we'll go get the mail. My neighbor. He likes checking out the cat poop in the sand by my bell box. Oh, he's got to see if anybody peed on his little bush. Usually a kitty digs up in the sand here. Hey, I got mail. All right. Genesee Street back to its original traffic pattern. Oh, my God. They got 9,000 stoplights down Genesee Street. How stupid. They made the road... They took all the stoplights out. Now they put them all back. So my sand drain is working good. Um, hiring. Oh, post office is hiring. Junior, there's a birdie feather. Junior. Come here. Plug in my face. Come here. Spit that out. Get over here. Come here. 
Come here. Look at birdie feather. Look at. Right here. I got it. Birdie feather. What are you going to do with that, huh? You got a birdie feather? Oh, he had another one. That's right. No, eat it. No, eat it. He had one right here. Tip my shoe. All right, spit it out. Spit it out. You don't want that now. Come on, stop. Put it, spit it out. Let's go. No. Come on. No. Spit it out. Go. He just wasn't like giving up. Oh, well, that's it. It's kind of cloudy out. I don't know if it's going to rain or not, but it feels awful hot and dampish, you know, muggy. All right, that's it. It's the end of my boring video today. Not much really too exciting going on. So I will catch everybody later. Have a good one.